What a beautiful day. To oh, I love seeing the sun out. Yes. Today we are in Taiping. Came in yesterday, it was cloudy and it rained a lot in the evening. And apparently Taiping is the... The rainiest city in Malaysia, one of the rainiest cities. It's supposed to rain every day here, at least a little bit. Yes, that was happened to us yesterday <laughs> in the afternoon. And we are heading to explore this yeah. little quaint town. Is it a town? Yeah, town, city, you let us know. <laughs> let us know if it's a town or a city. It's very like... Very old, that's for Old, sure. we love the vibe here. It's so chill, it's yeah. so relaxed. Get breakfast and then we're gonna go explore. Yes, Show and I love... around this cool city. I town. love <laughs> that there's just like so many kopitiams right here. Mm -hmm. There's one kopitiam, there's another kopitiam there. Ever since our friends, Puri and Sue, told us about Lecha and tried it, we tried it for the first time, we are obsessed with it. Some people don't like it, but we loved it. So good, ah, just good. Oh, we love it. This old building right here is one of our favorites in town already. It's Lee Yacht Fleming Work. That's the building. Right, where to go? Straight. Definitely feels more like an early morning kind of town. I feel right now it's about 10 a.m. and everything's bustling. Everyone's out and about. We are in the uh, afternoon yesterday evening. It was pretty slow, pretty quiet. So kind of get that vibe already. Definitely has a different feel than any other town we've been to in Malaysia so far, I'll have to say. We read that this was um, the old wet market. It's yeah. currently under renovation yeah you can still see the old details of the way it looks to look before it had a lot of charm to it hopefully it's going to be restored or to a it's old splendor sort of new twist like some streets are too narrow like on the right and streets are too wide like on the left so weird. This is our breakfast spot right here. It's called Tai Chin. So a lot of different hawkers inside. We're gonna go check it out. Very hungry. They have one in vermicelli or panmi. Now I don't know what to get. <laughs> There's a creamy. And not seen is our popia. We're so hungry. This popia is very famous here in Taiping. This is one of the things that you have to have and from this specific spot. I'll give you the name after because we're just too hungry to go outside. <laughs> so we have three things here. We got that, we got our lecha, which is all these different vegetables over rice, and we have this green like soup broth. We ate this two days in a row right before we left KL. We love it. Very light haka dish, very healthy. We also have curry meat here too, and they actually put mint on top of this curry meat. I'm loving this curry meat though. It's really bold rich flavor, a little bit of shrimp in there too. I love it. Everything here is very affordable. The little fried onion bits in that popia really made it stand out. See why it's very popular. I heard they sell out. I read people have had this come in here. It's already sold out by 11. You gotta get here early. Taiping Lake Gardens. Taiping Lake Gardens. The top attraction thing to do here in Taiping. It's beautiful already. It's very green and lush. You could already see it. So we like about this town. So you can see the mountains and hills all around. We're surrounded. Uh, Taiping it was a big tin mining town back in the day, and this actually used to be a tin mine. Now it's the Taiping Lake Gardens. They turned their old heritage industry into the top site in the city. Pretty cool. It's beautiful. It's very peaceful, green. There are people on the boats, like there. A little paddle boat, yeah. That's where all that rain comes in. We already talked about how this is like the rainiest city, town in Malaysia. That's why it's so green. You can already get the aroma of just the green. Like, I just feel like my lungs are getting like a detox from like the KL city pollution air, right? Like, it's very green. It is so nice and so green in here. And it is a free attraction, so you don't need entrance fee to get in here.
feels great to be just walking around nature, surrounded by trees, listening to the sound of birds singing, and on top of that, we're just in the middle of the city or the town of Taiping. Yeah, I would say this park really transformed the city. Like, just imagine this used to be a mine. Now it's, it's just a beautiful park for everyone to enjoy. Love that the way they did it. They repurposed what used to be a tin mine now into this lovely park where everyone can still get to enjoy it. Taiping is very famous for their zoo. It's actually right behind us, but we're not really into zoos. I'm not really check that out, but if you do want to check out a zoo, it's very famous here in Taiping. We actually just saw a bunch of monkeys crossing the street. That's about enough of a zoo for us. <laughs> <laughs> we also have like night, the daytime zoo and nighttime safari. already so nice. The aunties are so sweet and ah, I can't wait. Have something cooling in. Mm. Mm. So sweet, creamy, silky. Excellent. Not too heavy of a batter layer on the outside. Ooh. We've come to the most famous chendol spot in town. I'm sorry, so there's nothing better on a hot day than chendol. It's like the midday heat right now. We're sweating, it's so hot. There's nothing better than this cooling bowl of freshly shaved ice, coconut milk, gula malaka, red beans. And we also have the, the look, the sticky rice to go with it. And the green chendol noodles. So excited. Busy, busy. Let's dig in. So fresh and so well balanced. The creamy coconut milk, a little bit of saltiness, and the gula malaka, not too overpowering, but fragrant. Very nice gentle. I can see why they've been famous for so many years. Delicious. So there's a mural of... World stars up in the sky. I'm wondering why there was a mural of Amelia Earhart here and apparently she stopped to refuel here in Taiping in 1937 on her around the world flight. That's pretty cool to not know this. Mm -hmm. 